Today we have Clinton Monchuk, the Executive Director of Farm and Food Care Saskatchewan, and he's here today to tell us a little bit about what his organization, as well as a bunch of other organizations, are doing for Ag Month, which is, of course, this October. And so thank you so much for being with us today, Clint. Thanks for having Thanks. me, Thomas. So, Clint, tell me a little bit about um, Ag Month and kind of when it started and what exactly farmers across Saskatchewan, Alberta, and all across Canada do during Ag Month. So Ag Month is really a celebration of everything agriculture. So it's everything from the primary production, so farmers and ranchers, all the way through uh, the food system right to the plate of consumers. And um, every year the province of Saskatchewan uh, declares it as uh, Agriculture Month in the month of October, but many other uh, provinces or farmers or groups uh, celebrate in the same manner, um, just as the, the harvest is coming in and we're kind of wrapping up with things on the farm um, to, to just give a little bit more light and a little bit more, uh, um, I, I guess, um, conversation around where our food is actually coming from. And to kind of what are some of those conversations that you're having, as, especially with um, some more, cons more of the consumers, as for sure those conversations are happening all throughout the egg sector. But often, especially these days, the big thing that the egg sector, at least from my experiences, is that trying to get to the consumer and tell them the journey that it takes in order for the food to get to their plates. Yeah, and, and we see that there's there's uh, becoming an increasing gap, right, between uh, those who actually grow the food and those who actually consume the food. So uh, we have a few different things. Uh, during the month of October, uh, we have a very strong online um, activity, um, just using the hashtags meals from the farm and hashtag celebrate egg. Um, so anybody listening in or watching can follow along with those hashtags, but it really gets a little bit deeper into some of the different activities that we do with farm and food care Saskatchewan. Uh, we have a national initiative called Canadian food focus that aims to make sure that we have engaging conversations with consumers, um, about their food. So, so we know a lot of consumers, and especially in the, the big cities um, here in Western Canada, whether it's Calgary, Edmonton, or, or Vancouver, um, that there's a lot of disconnect between um, the production of food and, and the consumption of food. And we want to make sure that we're having some more of those transparent and engaging conversations about what farmers and ranchers are actually doing and how that food is, is really getting to their plates. And Clinton, what are some of the more specific organizations like Saskatchewan Pork and the Saskatchewan Chicken Farmers doing for Ag Month alongside Saskatchewan Food Care? Yeah, 100%. This is a, one of the other avenues that we were talking about. What farmers and, and farm organizations are doing to give back to the communities that they involve in. Case in point, um, right at the end of, of September, um, Farm and Food Care with the Chicken Farmers of Saskatchewan actually sponsored a meal at the Friendship Inn in Saskatoon. So we served uh, about 600 uh, to 700 meals of chicken to those who are less fortunate in our community. And really what we're trying to do is, is um, uh, just, just showcase the, the giving back that you know, the cattle industry gives, the pork industry, a lot of the, the other industries um, that a, a lot of you know, farmers and ranchers are a part of in this, this province are doing to give back to those less fortunate and making sure that we're strong members of the community as well. Thank you so much, Clint, for all the information. And we hope you guys have a continued success with the Ag Month for the rest of this month of October. Well, thank you for having me.